Tonight's Sports Spotlight packs a punch. One of Middle Georgia's own will fight on the big stage this weekend. 41 NBC's Dustin Wilson joins us now with this young boxer story. The Middle Georgia Boxing Club fosters the dreams of local boxers. Now one of those young athletes hopes to take his dream to reality. Making native Ernest Butts III will step into the ring of the MGM Grand Foxwoods in Connecticut this weekend. Pound for pound, the light welterweight says he's ready to deliver. It's a long way to the top, you know. So you just got to keep trying, keep getting a good effort. And hopefully it'll work out for him. Boxing is in the family line. Ernest Butts Jr. trains his son just like his father did before him. Butts III is a light welterweight, but a heavy opportunity knocks at the door for the young athlete. A four-round fight, which is probably the biggest contest of his career. Butts III will battle Jaya Ramos in a four-round junior light welterweight bout. The young boxer plans on using his reach to take down his opponent. Come on, throw a lot of jab and keep him off and keep him back. Butts trains at Middle Georgia Boxing Club, where a number of young athletes train for next to nothing. The hope of bringing young men off the streets and into the ring is the prime mission of this gym. Gym director Reverend Frank Ray says boxing gives opportunity to young men who need it the most. You, you realize that don't too many people want to help this help these young men, but we do, and we are going to help them. Part of the battle is keeping guys in the gym with consistency. A lot of them come from unstable homes, and they come down here to get get off aggression. But once they need money again, they're going to go out and do whatever, you know. And I try to prevent that. But it's a long road, man. Right now, Butts the Third fights to support his family and little girl for the chance of a better life. Highlights of the fight will be on HBO this Saturday at 9:45, leading up to the Berto versus Ortiz welterweight title bout.